Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. Alright, so I have a video for you today that I haven't really prepared. I'm actually just winging this, but honestly I, I pretty much wing it a lot of the time anyways. Today I want to talk about my latest blind buy purchase. And yeah, I just want to give you my thoughts about it and if it was a success or a fail. This is a fragrance from the House of Bond number no. 9 and it's called New Harlem. I have it here. It is a beautiful, beautiful box. I'm not a big fan of the, the bottles to be honest, the star shape thing. It is not the prettiest thing, but... I'm here just for the juice anyway, so New Harlem. So New Harlem has been quite popular in the FragCom since the beginning. I've been hearing about New Harlem ever since Kerosene made his New Harlem video, or at least he was thinking about it. Yeah, I think I believe, I think I saw a video of him talking about New Harlem. Also, Fragrance Bros did a video like years ago when they were still together, uh, Saver and Jer. And ever since then, this fragrance has been on my radar because all I kept hearing was pancakes, coffee, breakfast, maple syrup, and all of those things totally uh, catch my attention because obviously from those descriptions, it is a gourmand fragrance and I'm absolutely head over heels over gourmand fragrances. So. I kept hearing that this fragrance smells like pancakes and stuff, as I just said. Also, just that whole imagery of being in a like pancake house or whatever. So, before I bought this, you might already know that I own Ombre Eccentrico from Armani Privé. And to me, that fragrance smells like maple syrup and pancakes. And I absolutely love that fragrance. It's one of my favorites still. But... <sighs> I saw this on sale uh, a few weeks ago on Otino and I just had to jump on it because I can't get enough pancakes in my life. I love pancakes. <laughs> so I blind bought it. it. There were no samples to be found to purchase in Holland for some reason. So also Andrew just blind bought it too, kind of. So I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to go for it and, you know, see if the hype is real on bond number nine new harlem so let me just spray it on my skin here i have worn this several times now so i think that i have a good idea about what this fragrance is all about <sighs> let me just put it here okay, there we go okay so new harlem the very first spray the last thing I get is pancakes. <laughs> what I smell is a vanilla. I smell lavender. It has this kind of masculine smelling lavender because lavender is obviously um, used in both men's and women's fragrances, but uh, just traditionally it's mostly found in men's fragrances. So the lavender in here reminds me of more masculine fragrances. And lavender to me isn't very edible even though there's lavender tea and sometimes like lavender scented cookies or whatever. But I personally don't want to eat or drink lavender smells even though it is quite calming and relaxing and aroma, aroma, no, therapeutic. I don't know the word, aromatherapy. They use uh, lavender a lot. So you get a huge, strong, intense blast of lavender which is kind of off-putting because honestly i was expecting the most delicious pancake house maple syrup pancakes coffee smell from this fragrance and i'm like lavender what is that doing in here <laughs> i'll be honest you guys the opening doesn't do anything for me there is like a very nice thick syrupy sweetness but that the sweetness sorry ugh. That sweetness does remind me a little bit of, of syrup, of pancake syrup, but when you mix it along with lavender, to me it becomes completely in inedible. 
and I don't really want to eat the opening of this fragrance. So that's just the opening though. It doesn't last forever. Luckily, there's still the mid and the dry down of this fragrance. And the mid of this fragrance, the lavender slowly gets less intense. So that's a good thing. It becomes more fruitier in the mid and in the dry down. But to be very honest, you guys, I don't really smell pancakes per se. Uh, in the mid and in the dry down, I do smell this syrup-like substance that that smells delicious, but it's it, it kind of tastes like the cheap kind of syrup. Not the good stuff. <laughs> and I'm from Canada and I, growing up, I ate a lot of maple syrup with pancakes, obviously, so I have this like high expectation of what maple syrup or what pancake syrup should be. So when I smell the mid and the dry down, I'm getting pancake syrup, but the kind that's cheap, like in a dollar store or whatever, which is a little bit disappointing, but because it's really sweet and it has that syrupy, thick, horrible texture, it is quite pleasurable, actually. I do like the smell, but like I said, I have high expectations when it comes to maple syrup. And at this point, this kind of syrup didn't really do it for me, even though it smells good. The dry down is very, very interesting. The texture changes. I actually do get this bready, pancakey kind of texture, which is the best part of this fragrance. Just imagining a stack of pancakes sitting right in front of you on like a Sunday morning, if you're in the restaurant or if you're at home, just those smells with the butter and everything is just one of the most amazing smells I think ever in life. So finally in the dry down, I am getting that textury pancake and I'm picturing a stack of pancakes. But that syrup hasn't really changed. The syrup gets a little bit thicker in the dry down. It gets a little bit sweeter as well. But again, the syrup isn't the syrup of what I'm used to, of what I would like to smell on pancakes. And this is the part where I would say that Armani Ombre Eccentrico is better. If I were to choose to, between the two, Armani Ombre Eccentrico kind of stays the whole way through foodie. The whole way through, you get pancakes, you get sweetness, you get that bready texture, you get the awesome quality Canadian maple syrup, at least to my nose, that's what I smell. And the imagery is of the perfect stack of pancakes with the perfect high quality expensive Canadian maple syrup, along with the butter that's kind of just melting on top. That's what I get from Ombre Eccentrico. Now from New Harlem, I get a nice, nice warm, uh, freshly cooked stack of pancakes. Yes, I get the texture, but the, the difference is that the, the syrup that they use, the, the pancake syrup, is not as nice. <laughs> and I know I'm just nitpicking little things here. They're both really great fragrances. But um, New Harlem falls a little bit short when it comes to the pancake breakfast idea because, because of that lavender in the beginning, which to me kind of just doesn't really belong in this fragrance. It's really, really strange. I think a lot of people would enjoy that part of this fragrance. But for me, I'm all about gourmand. I want it to be gourmand through the whole way. And I feel that that lavender smell in the beginning, in the opening of New Harlem is just a bit strange. It, does, it just feels like it doesn't fit in. It doesn't really mix well. It doesn't feel like it belongs there. Although it is an interesting touch and contrast, to me, I would prefer that not to be there. Then I would enjoy this fragrance more. But nonetheless, I still really enjoy this fragrance, just not as much as Ombre Eccentrico. And as I said, if I were to choose between the two, 
when it comes to pancake breakfast kind of smells, ombre, ombre eccentrico definitely takes the win. Longevity and performance is really, really are really good, great on my skin. Um, I haven't actually timed it, <laughs> uh, but just from memory, I would say around six, seven hours on longevity, which is perfectly fine for me. And projection, yeah, around three, four hours. It's pretty good. I'm just, just giving you like a ballpark figure there, but uh, I don't have any complaints about performance about this.